Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today, we're going to be tackling two of the biggest questions I get about the electronics on my kayak. The two questions I always get asked is, what type of battery should I use, and how long is that battery going to power my fish finder for? To answer that first question, there's two mainstream options for powering your electronics on your kayak while you're on the water. Option one is the SLA batteries the sealed lead acid types. The second option that's becoming more mainstream is the lithium ion batteries. Now let's check out the following chart to see what battery might be right for you. Weight. Lithium ion batteries are one third the weight of lead acid batteries. Efficiency. Lithium ion batteries are nearly 100% efficient in both the charge and discharge cycle. Discharge. Lithium ion batteries are discharged 100% versus less than 80% for lead acid batteries. Cycle life. Lithium ion batteries can cycle 5,000 times or more compared to just 400 to 500 cycles for lead acid batteries. Voltage. Lithium ion batteries maintain their voltage throughout the entire discharge cycle. Lead acid batteries voltage consistently drops throughout the discharge cycle. Cost. Lead acid batteries are currently cheaper than lithium ion batteries. Now on to the second question. How long can you expect your battery to last? The answer to that question is going to vary based on what type of battery you choose. For the purpose of this demonstration, we'll be looking at lithium ion batteries. Specifically, the Nakwa Pro Power Kit 10 amp hour battery paired with the Garmin Striker 4 Fish Finder. Looking in the Striker 4 owner's manual, we'll find that the recommended voltage should not drop below 10 volts for this fish finder. Now, we're going to see how long it takes the Garmin Striker 4 to draw our battery down to 10 volts. 